What's up, Divine Moon Goddess? Bam, bam. It's your Divine Moon Goddess coming at you with a little bit of motherfucking tarot. All right, I'm so sorry, so sorry, you guys, of the delay. This is my fire signs, uh, Aries, Leo, and Sag. Let's see what's going on for you guys. I'm very busy at this moment, you guys. You know I go where the views and the subscribers are. And Facebook's number one. TikTok is number three. I mean number two, and you guys are now number three. Um, so I decided to do elements for now if I can and will have time for um, more videos. I will, but you guys know I also teach. So uh, it's just it's been very crazy. So fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag. Let's see what's going on for you for the month of October. Well, it looks like you're going to get some notifications. You're going to have some notifications up in your life, okay? All right. So a couple things um, I would say is if you're going through any kind of depressing um, states, what you don't see is don't um, don't use... Oh, where's my camera? Don't use, This is at the bottom of the deck. Don't start using uh, alcohol, drugs, or anything like this, food, um, to get to your comfort zone. Spirit is showing you that they have some blessings for you. Don't go into this very depressive... Um, energy because what I see is for some of you guys at the bottom of the deck you do have this king of wands here coming in for you so someone is coming in very passionate you just have to see them though okay um, I feel like for the month of October you are going to be fighting yourself you your head over heart decisions okay now remember it's not about head over heart fire signs it's about aligning head and heart together all right, so you don't have to choose one over the other. They have to be in sync and they got to work together. And so this two of swords right here and this deck is my head over heart um, battle. It's the battle between you. Now, for very few of you, it is a choice between two people that you need to make, okay? You got either two people or two choices or two paths in your life and you need to make a decision, all right? Let's see all of these. Yeah, see? The lover's card is popping out for some of you. Five of swords. Ten of swords. Death card. Wow, a lot of cards coming out. So, for yes, for a lot of you, it is partnership. Uh, someone that you've been with before. Someone that you're highly connected to. Some of you guys, this is twin flame energy. Um, divine partner energy. A lot of hurt and pain with this person. You two have been, I feel like you two have gone through a lot. And I feel like you've had a lot of energies against you. But again, once again, I don't feel like it's completely over between you two. It's just a matter of how you want to proceed in the month of October. Okay. I do feel like this is something that's coming back up for you. Um, one is because you're very connected to this person. So those of you who have somebody coming back in your life, um, it's because you're very connected with this person. This is a divine partner in some way, shape, or form. Now, that doesn't mean to allow someone to drag you through the mud or let them do shit to you, you know, where you're hurting and in pain. But this does make um, sense of why you're truly connected and can't let this person go or they can't let you go. All right. Hermit card here is telling you to come out of your hermit mode. You've kind of been isolated, uh, alone. I'm feeling like, pe like I said, you're feeling like people are against you. You got a lot of cards just popping out here. Um, but here goes that two of swords again, the world card. It's about making decisions. The magician, uh, page of cups. Oh, wow. It's about making decisions here. Okay. You really have to make some decisions on how you want to move forward. Remember you're the fucking magician. So the magician is the one who creates their life that they want. You don't have to deal with a partner who's not on your level. It is your choice. It is always your choice. Despite sometimes what we think is why do I have this person, right? It's still your choice at the end of the day. I feel like a lot of you have been isolating yourself away from people or you are forced to isolate. If that makes sense for some of you, um, and it's because you need to make a decision. Now, remember, you're still the fucking magician. But with the world card in the reverse, the death card in reverse, the situation is not over between you and someone else. It's like this. Um, it's kind of like this temporary hold or something while someone was trying to get some things together or work on themselves. OK, um, that's definitely what I'm feeling. Now, page of cuts, I feel like someone is holding back. Somebody is not expressing themselves, their emotion, and they should. Now, this particular Four of Pentacles card that I have here is about getting off of your high horse, okay? 
um, fire signs. It's like you want things to come to you, but you also need to realize where you are in this situation. It's not always about us. Yes, I'm saying love yourself, you know, um, be, you know, it's, it has nothing to do with self-love, this card. This is about thinking that you are better than others um, in your energy and you're sitting there like your shit don't stink. And so fire signs for the month of October, this is you to realize that yes, your shit stinks like everybody else. Allow yourself to be emotional. Allow yourself to be vulnerable. And yes, allow yourself to receive, but don't sit on your high horse as if they, you're, you're the only one in this world and you know it, it just you got to get out of that ego all right the other part the fool card is here so the fool card is telling you that for some of you you guys need to take a leap of faith in your life and for some of you you need to be a little bit more cautious about you know but i feel like you're overly cautious in the month of october don't be so cautious yeah see knight of swords coming out you're not um, with this particular card, I do feel like it's opening up and being expressive. So this is about opening up, saying the things that you mean, saying the things that you want to say, and don't hold back in those things, okay? Be very honest of what you're feeling this month, okay? Air, uh, fire signs. You might be dealing with air sign. Um, Ten of wands in the reverse, and we got the three of cups. So I feel like if you were the person who was very egotistical, uh, entertaining others through ego, which a lot of people do, a lot of people run from love because they're not ready for love, so they're entertaining. I feel that someone is realizing that that's not the way to go. I feel like uh, we're putting down these burdens of others. We're not taking this shit on no more. Um, but I just feel like it's hard for someone to get to the point of loving themselves two tens in the reverse and I feel like it's hard for someone to get in that heart space and remember no one can love you if they don't love themselves first I don't care how much you love them I don't care how much you talk to them I don't give a fuck what you do you could go to the moon and back it's still not going to be enough because this person doesn't love themselves star card in the reverse somebody doesn't have hope somebody has lost hope in their life and in this situation now for you twin flamers and I do have a twin flame um uh, club. I have a twin flame group that I'm focusing more on twin flames over there. So in the description box below, definitely uh, look up for that so you can see more about becoming empowered and coming into your energy a little bit better. Okay. Right. Um, but this is about regaining your hope in love in life and moving forward, understanding that yes, maybe this divine partnership took, you know, took you to a place of shutting down. Maybe this divine partnership fucked you up, but you don't have to stay there. Okay. You don't have to stay in this energy and you don't have to stay there. So spirit is just kind of showing you that you are able to move forward and you are able to create the life and love that you want in relationship. Okay. Sometimes that's hard, especially when it comes to past, but don't allow your past to um, hold you back. For some of you, you guys are holding back. You're not living because you're waiting on someone to come back. Don't put yourself on hold for anybody. Keep living your life and, and live it to the fullest, okay? And just make sure that you're understanding that. But I feel like either you, Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, or Sag, or someone you're dealing with is close and they're struggling to open up they want to but they're struggling so this might be you or this might be someone you're dealing with but if it's you get to the core of the problem it's not time for love it's time to get to the core of the problem love is going to happen later but you got to go to what is affecting you your soul on your soul level and your person has to figure that shit out for themselves you cannot force it and you cannot make them realize that okay um, so that's what I got for you, fire signs for the month of October. I will tell you, I'm not seeing, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not really seeing anything career based. This is really actually all about love this month because I feel like you got these connections kind of coming back up for you. A lot of you are being pressed as far as your shadow work is going, and a lot of you have to fight with that ego. Your ego is coming up. So there's this constant battle between what you want, what you need. Um, in your heart space, your mind, and your soul. So I feel like this is really making decisions to better your soul and your healing versus anything else. So that's what I got for you. As always, going to send you some love and some light, some light and some love. Until next time, bye.